I woke up, I was just coughing, I couldn't breathe. I could smell smoke in my home. We got a lot more smoke nowadays than what we used to have. I mean, the only time we used to get smoke was when we were smoking fish or when we were lighting a makay and there would be smoke in the steam bath for a while there. But nowadays it's gotten a lot worse. Uh, I think the climate has changed so that uh, that um, when you go outside in the summertime, we get more north uh, east winds, and they bring that smoke down that valley, and we and all that uh, fire that's going on up in the Fairbanks area or interior area is coming down here. But there's a lot more, a lot more smoke than what we used to have. Wildfires are increasing in Alaska. In 2015 alone, fires burned more than 5 million square acres. That's 80,000 square miles. We're seeing record temperatures here in Alaska that we have never seen before. We're breaking records for temperatures, I mean, through the whole state. We're getting fires in places that don't burn. The smoke from fires can be dangerous to your health. We're getting a lot more fires out on the tundra. And those burn deep, they burn real deep. Tundra fires have a thick, choking white smoke. It's getting worse, not getting better. Wildfire smoke has several uh, chemical compounds in it that can be irritating, and it also has particulate matter, so tiny pieces of ash. And both of those things can irritate your eyes, and more importantly, can irritate your lungs. There are several groups of people that are, are much more likely to be affected by smoke than others. For instance, the very young, under age seven, actually breathe more air per pound than adults. Adults who are very old have lungs that have worked a long time, and their lungs probably don't have as much capacity to handle the influx of smoke. And people who have already have smoke damaged lungs from smoking, people who have uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or people who have asthma may have worsening of their lung disease based on exposure to the smoke. In addition, people who have heart problems can also have increased problems with smoke because if your lungs aren't working so well, your heart is then under more of a strain. Smoke from wildfires can make it hard to breathe normally. Children, older people, pregnant women, and people who already have heart or lung conditions are more at risk. Wildfire smoke irritates the eyes and throat. It can cause shortness of breath and coughing. When smoke levels are high enough, even healthy people can find it hard to breathe. So as you noticed last night, when the air got smoky, your COPD worsened and you had that increased difficulty breathing, probably because your bronchial tubes were cramping due to the effect of the smoke on the tiny muscles in there. Using your inhaler right away was a really good idea and reducing your exposure to smoke by closing all your windows was the perfect thing to do. Other things that you can try to do or other things that you should be thinking about is when there is a lot of smoke in the air, it's important that you take it easy. Don't go out into the smoke and don't do heavy work outside or even inside if there's smoke that you could smell inside your house. Reduce the work your body has to do during the smoky times. So, the next time there's a wildfire risk, people often ask me about the kinds of masks that might be appropriate to use, and I have a couple of examples. The right mask can give some protection. They come in different sizes and colors. Your health care provider can help you choose the right mask. It is important for the mask to fit properly. You should talk with your health care provider about how to prepare for smoky conditions. Would you like to try it on and see how it feels? Yeah, that sounds great. So, I'm, you have to sort of pull both of those blue things back over the top of your head. Mm. And these two things need to come oh, apart. There's two, of them. there's two of them. So you have to get one up and one down. Now pinch that tightly around your nose and make sure it's down under your chin. Now breathe in and out. How does that feel? It feels okay. All communities should plan how to judge the danger from wildfire smoke. 
You should choose landmarks at different distances to see when the smoke is coming closer. When the visible range is only 2.5 miles or closer, when even easy to see objects are no longer visible, smoke will affect almost everyone. People who are more sensitive will be affected when the smoke is even farther away. In judging smoke, it's best to have the sun at your back. And remember that extreme humidity can affect your sense of distance. The Alaska Department of Environmental Conservation has an air quality and smoke index. When we're doing our landmarks, we always should make sure that the sun is behind our backs. Mm -hmm. And since this is a cloudy day, the sun would usually be up on this area. Yeah. And so we're going to turn around and face away from the sun in which we can see Table Mountain over here. Now, if I could see Table Mountain on a real clear day, that would mean that there's no smoke effect. Everyone can do their normal business. If they want to take a run for their health purposes, you know, they can do that. Okay, my next reference point would be the mountain that is about a mile away. And of course, we have the wind socks that is about half a mile to three quarters of a mile away. If those estimation, the mountain and the wind sock, if they were, you couldn't see them at all, yeah. then we would be telling our community, you know, don't be going outside, don't try to exert yourself outside, doing your daily runs. Um, children, children, elders, and uh, people with asthma and COPD, we might have to consider evacuating them to a safer place. Yeah. Um, and then also, if you're inside your home, you shouldn't be doing any vacuuming, no smoking inside the home. Um, do very minimal chores around your home because you do not want to exert yourself and breathe in more of that fine particles that we're so concerned about. These are the landmarks Aleknagik uses. Each town needs to choose its own landmarks for judging the intensity of the smoke. The community as a whole should also plan ahead so that everyone is informed. The tribal council or village council can take the lead in planning. You and other people in your community will want to work together to make sure everyone is protected from the danger of wildfire smoke. You need to have a destination to where your community members can go, whether it's the school or the health clinic, or even if it's really bad, then you, then you would want to get those children, the elders, the sensitive people out of the area. Remember that wildfire smoke can be harmful. To protect yourself, stay inside and close your windows and doors. Reduce your physical activity. Talk to your healthcare provider about using the proper mask. If necessary, find a place to stay that has better air filtration than your home, such as the school or clinic. 